Welcome to the ultimate veggie burger taste test. Ew, I just looked in the fucking viewfinder and my smile did not look good. So, I'm, okay. I'm so excited right now because this is a food video and I love I love that. Today, I am gonna go to every fast food place and I'm gonna get a veggie burger from there and I'm gonna taste it and I'm gonna find out the best fast food veggie burger because if you guys are like me, which you're probably not, or maybe you are, I don't know, and you're a vegetarian, it's hard to find fast food that's vegetarian that's good. And a few years ago, I did a video where I went to all of the fast food chains and I tried vegan fast food, like whatever they had. But I, sometimes you want a burger. So today I'm gonna, try all of the veggie burgers at these fast food places so that you don't have to. I really don't have this mapped out. I have no idea where I'm gonna go first. Um, kind of stressed out. I think it makes the most sense to go to McDonald's first, so let's do it. The thing that sucks about being a vegetarian is that you don't get to experience the drive through as much because you can't just like drive through and get a burger whenever you're feeling it. When you're a vegetarian, I feel like you actually have to go into the establishment because most of the places that have food for us it's that type of place where you have to go in and sit and sometimes you want to just get in and out. And that's why, that's why it's hard. What, what was my point? I don't even know what, where I was going with that. I have not filmed in my car in so long and let me tell you why. So I got a new car like a year ago, over a year ago. And I haven't really filmed in the car since because this car has the worst fucking layout Dude, everyone's hogging at me because I'm going so slow, but it's literally because I don't want my camera to fall. Anyway, glad that we can have that understanding. Also, the lighting is terrible whenever I drive in the car. It's tough, but we make it work. Am I gonna fucking... Damn it. Damn it. Turning is scary. Like, I know my camera's gonna fall one of these turns. I just know it. I can fucking feel it in my bones. So, life update. Last video I made, I said I had no video ideas. After I had a mental breakdown about having no video ideas, I ended up coming up with like 10. So now I have like 10 solid video ideas. Don't know where those ideas were when I didn't have any ideas. After I go through all those ideas, things might go back to shit and I, there's no promises. Hoping for the best. Oh my God, that guy thought I just flipped him off. Even though I've had no video ideas, which has kind of upset me, I've really been in a good mood for like the past two weeks. I'm sick right now, but I'm still in a good mood. And like that says something. You know what I think it is? I think it's because I've been more social. You know, I've just been talking to more people, just trying to be like a social gal, hoping that this lasts. Anyway, we'll see you at McDonald's. Oh, we're at McDonald's. I'm not even sure if McDonald's has a veggie burger. I feel like they have to. Yes. Yay. Wait, I'm showing, wait, I don't wanna show you guys cause then I have to move my camera off the tripod. No, I need to be better about filming things. Oh fuck. Do you know what? I'm just going to take a photo of it and then I'm gonna insert it in the video. Look how dark and dreary this fucking drive through is. I'm literally terrified and the line is really long. I was just not anticipating this complicated experience. Hi, can I do a veggie burger? I don't have veggie burger. You don't? No. What's the closest you have to a veggie burger? I have burger with no patty. Um, I'll do the hamburger with no patty. You're Emma, right? That is me. Aww, you're so cute Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. I love this. Okay, that was the sweetest woman I've ever met. Um, she was such an angel, but they don't have a veggie burger here. What the fuck? Okay, so McDonald's doesn't have a veggie burger. Fuck, I cannot fit through this fucking driveway. I got a burger without the patty. So... That's gonna be probably kind of gross, but it might be good. I don't even know how many places I'm gonna go to today. Maybe I'll go to 50, who knows? Maybe I'll go to every fast food chain. Maybe I'll drive all the way to another state to try even more, who knows? Thank you, ma'am. Have a good one. It's trying time. <laughs> burger number one, this is Burger King. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> this is McDonald's. Yo, vegetarians get no love. Is there just cheese? There is literally, this is a joke. I'm sorry, am I being mean? I mean, it doesn't taste bad actually at all. Why doesn't it taste bad? Okay, all right. Would I ever get that again? Definitely not. It doesn't taste bad, but it's just the most pointless thing I've ever eaten in my life. I'm gonna give McDonald's a three out of 10. It wasn't bad, it didn't taste bad, but it was like not something I'd ever get again. Am I upset? A little bit. When I was a kid, I could see myself kind of enjoying that because when you're a kid you weirdly have like seven taste buds and you don't even know what you're eating half the time. Hopefully Burger King comes through with more of a more of a passion. I feel a little bit stupid. I feel kind of stupid going through the drive-thru and being like, can I have a veggie burger? And they don't even have that on the menu. But actually, do you know what? When the camera was off, I Googled it. In some locations do have veggie burgers, I think. So that was not my fault. All right, we're on our way. I'll see you at McDonald's. I mean, nope. 
I'll see you at Burger King. Okay, we're at Burger King. Burger King check. Oh. Hi, do you guys have um, veggie burger? Is that what the Impossible Whopper is? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll get the Impossible Whopper. Thank you. I have a feeling this one's going to be low-key good. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling good about it. I also just found out that Wendy's has a veggie burger. And guess what's next door to me right now? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just a fucking Wendy's. <laughs> While we're waiting to get this Burger King burger, let's fucking reobserve how fucking hilarious the McDonald's one was. Literally, look at this. They gave me one fucking pickle. I'm not going to be mean. I'm just, I'm not in the mood to be mean today. One thing I'm noticing about drive throughs is that there's no space. They're so narrow, I literally feel like I'm about to crash my car. I'm literally like 400 feet away from an IHOP right now. It's in my direct vision. I can see the IHOP. International House of Pancakes, for those who are confused. Can we throw it back to when it was IHOP? International House of Burgers. That was a fever dream. I don't want to remember it. Thank you. Boom. I feel like I'm going to have the worst stomach ache of my life after filming this. The lighting is shitty, I'm aware. Let's just act like it's not as bad as it is. Funny story about the Wendy's I'm at right now, because I'm at Wendy's, burger number three already. I'm gonna try the Wendy's one and the, oh my God, that guy's fucking jaywalking and I almost hit them. I'm gonna try the Wendy's and the Burger King at the same time, because why not? Oh my God, there's no line at Wendy's. Hi, do you guys have a veggie burger? No, no. Can I just get a burger or a, a cheeseburger without the, Patty, I literally Googled before coming to Wendy's whether or not they had a fucking veggie burger and they said that they did. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It is crazy how quickly they get you your food. Like that was so fucking fast. I also can never understand what people are saying over the like speaker when you're ordering food, fast food. Oh, we have a couple for it. Say that again. So I really don't know what she said. I actually don't really know what she's giving me right now. So like this could be anything. I know it's not a veggie patty though. And that's really upsetting. So first we're going to try the Burger King. Uh, this is the first actual veggie burger of the evening because apparently all of the websites and sources that are telling me that these places have veggie burgers are lying. Oh wow. This is an experience. This looks amazing. I don't like tomatoes though. So I will be taking that out. All right, let's do this. Let's try it. That is hella good. Whoa. Burger King, you did it, dude. That shit is fucking good. If you are a vegetarian and you want a veggie burger on the go, that is so good. Burger King, I'm gonna give you a 10 out of 10. I don't hand 10 out of 10s out often, but like that's really good and super easy to get because there's so many Burger Kings everywhere. I love that. So let's move on to the Wendy's burger. Very disappointed because online it says that they're testing out a black bean burger. Uh, that was not true, they don't have that, so. Oh my God, there's meat in it. There's literally meat in it. Damn it. Okay, Wendy's, you get a zero out of 10 because I can't even eat this. They lied online and then they gave me meat in my burger. Although she, she did say something to me that I didn't understand. Say that again? So I could have been the one in the wrong there. The fact that the fucking Burger King burger was so good, I like can't even be mad about anything right now. But I'll give the fucking Wendy's burger to one of my friends that eats meat and it'll be fine, but I'm still kind of upset. I've decided that we're gonna go to In-N-Out Burger next. Okay, the lighting is just not getting better. We're going to In-N-Out next. Now, I know for a fact that In-N-Out doesn't have veggie burgers, but I'm still gonna go because I've heard a lot of people say that they're grilled cheese, which is basically two fucking patties and a piece of American cheese, but whatever. I've heard that that's actually really good. I don't think anything's gonna beat the Impossible Whopper, especially because there are no options. Dude, what are you doing? Sorry, I just got literal road rage on camera. I wish that more fast food places would fucking have a real, real ass veggie burger. Just own that shit. I think some locations of these fast food joints do have veggie burgers, but I just think that apparently the ones in the area that I live just don't, and that's just my problem. So I'll see you at In-N-Out. Wish me luck. Just got in line at In-N-Out, and the line literally has 15 cars in it. They're coming up to cars and placing orders. That's good, but this is like the longest line ever. Hi. Can I just get a grilled cheese? I'll let you know you the first window. Thank you. I'll see you when I get my grilled cheese. It might be like six hours because the line at in and out is literally the longest line that anyone's ever seen. Why is the lighting so bad, dude? God, to fucking strain my neck. Oh my God, that hurt my neck. We're here, it's time. in and out baby. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. You too. I'm currently in the process of mentally preparing myself for the best grilled cheese I've ever had. And if it's not, we're gonna have a huge problem because I just waited like a half hour 
for said grilled cheese and if it doesn't literally move me and change my life, I'm gonna be a little bit frustrated. I might actually try it while I'm driving. Go ahead. I have the right of way, but go ahead. Actually, I don't have the right of way. I don't know why I said that. I'm just a bitch. I'm just a bitch when I drive. Okay, let's try this. Wait, <laughs> wait, it is good. <laughs> Wow, Loki, that is really good. Okay, in and out You know what? I'm gonna give you guys a solid eight out of ten. Let's assess in and out I'm putting my face in the sun so you can see me. I'm upset that there's no veggie patty, so I'm removing two points. But the flavor is really good. Like, you almost don't even notice that there's no, like, patty, because it's, like, just good. Like, there's a lot of flavor. <clears throat> the bun is really good. Sorry, I burped in the middle of that. My only complaint is that there's no veggie patty, but eight out of ten, it's still a solid... A solid meal. I'm gonna go home now, and there's a few things I'm gonna order to my house because I feel like there's still a few more places I need to try, but I wanna order them to my house because I'm getting kind of lazy and the lighting is getting really bad. So we're gonna go home for the last few. In and out, eight out of ten. I can I can fuck with it. That's good. Oh my god, it's been like six hours. I exercised, which is why I look probably worse than I've ever looked in my life. Like my hair is all sweaty. And I just worked out. And before I take a shower, which actually I don't shower anyway, so never mind. Before I go lay in my bed, just kidding, I'm going to shower. While I'm like starving from working out, I'm gonna try our last two burgers. First one is Carl's Jr. I'm really excited about this because this actually is a veggie burger. Like this has a patty in the whole nine yards. So let's try it out. The presentation is great. She's kind of been sitting for a few hours, so. Not hours, minutes. What the fuck? I ordered it on Postmates, so it actually probably has been a few hours, Loki. Anyway, this is her. She looks great. The presentation's there. Definitely comparable to Burger King. So let's try it out. Where's a good place to aim here? Okay. Wow. I'm gonna try the patty by itself. This literally looks like real meat, but it's not. I can tell, but it looks like it. Dude. That's super impressive. Carl's Jr. Underrated for us vegetarians. That was really good. It, like they nailed the burger, like texture and taste and all that. Um, I'm basing that off of the fact that I tried a burger once, a real one. Presentation was there, flavor was great. I'm actually really confused. I don't know whether I like Burger King or Carl's Jr. better. So I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Along with Burger King, they both get 10 out of 10s. Last but not least, we have five guys. This doesn't have a patty in it. This is just like random shit in a bun. Oh my God, ew. Okay, it has bell peppers, ketchup, mustard, lettuce, tomato. I don't understand what the fuck this is, but it might be good. Let's try it. No, that tastes like what throw up would taste like if you ate it. Like, let's say you threw up and then you ate it. Five guys, that's what your veggie sandwich tastes like. No, never again. But let's make our conclusions here. <coughs> this was an entire day ordeal I, with a little quick hiatus, but I did do this all day and I enjoyed it. I actually had more fun than I've had in months. Um, so if you want me to be a food critic moving forward, let me know, comment down below. I will be your food critic. I will try everything for you so you don't have to. That's my new um, catchphrase. I'll try it so that you don't have to. McDonald's sucked, Burger King was fire, Wendy's, not edible. in and out great, but no patty, so kind of questionable. Not the full experience, so eh. Carl's Jr., impressive. Five guys, vomit vibes. The two winners, which I would say actually are tied, would have to be Carl's Jr. and Burger King. The presentation was there, the flavor was there, the experience was there. Next in line, would be in and out The flavor was there, but the fact that there was no veggie patty in it kind of threw me off. I don't think I would get it again, but I like might. Like it tasted good, but like weirdly I'd feel weird ordering that. So I don't know if I'd get it again. And then for the last few, Five Guys, Wendy's, McDonald's. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting the veggie burger from there. I'd recommend getting something else. Don't do that. Yeah, I think that's it. Sorry that you guys had to look at me sweaty for the last few minutes of this video. I I'm upset. I love you guys. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy your month, whatever. I love you all very much. And thank you for your patience as I'm figuring out who I am as a human being. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that deep right before I end the video because that's a conversation on its own. Bye guys. 
See ya.